The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hey, it's all I've been talking about this morning, the severe weather threat for today. We can have the opportunity to see wind, flood, and floods and hail, and then an isolated tornado if conditions are favorable. But for tomorrow, the flooding, the flooding could exist if we see an isolated shower that dumps downpours. I know last week we saw a lot of rain, so if we get that for today, we could see some isolated showers tomorrow that will enhance the flood risk. And then Wednesday will be cloudy. So a nice rest of the week for you. Now, the severe weather outlook for today, an enhanced risk for Southside and for Lynchburg, and then a slight risk for our interior counties, then marginal along our western counties, just along I-81 into the west. Now zooming in a little bit, Roanoke, the action will start right here, basically right in the center of our zone and we'll track eastward from here. There is an opportunity to get some action up there in Hot Springs in the Highlands and out in the NRV, but that'll be later this afternoon and later this evening. Now, we're tracking the moisture levels. We see this big pocket of dry air out here. There's no moisture out there, but there is a ton of it along the East Coast, and this division in moisture levels is the fuel. That's why there is going to be severe weather. As we track through, you see this line right here migrate slightly to the west, and that will be an upper level shortwave trough that will bring us severe weather for this afternoon. And as we go throughout the rest of the day for tomorrow, drier air starts to move in. Now, here's what we're tracking. Here's the mean sea level pressure. We see the shortwave trough right here at about noon, and then storms blow up right along it at about 2 p.m. into 3 p.m. We see even more widespread coverage of storms. This line will get itself together. If it can, we'll see some damaging winds near Lynchburg in the south side, and then it migrates out towards the east coast, nearing D.C. and parts of Maryland by tonight. Now, current radar is showing some rain out in the NRV, starting to dwindle off, starting to taper off as it interacts with the mountains. Temperatures around the block right now, 69 here, and upper 60s for much of the region. As for today, it'll be warm with some storms later, 89 for your high. We saw 89 yesterday. We saw 90 in some spots. We'll still see the opportunity to see 90. Just depends on the timing of the storms. And then for tonight, we have a cold front that moves through after the severe action at around 11 p.m. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We're back in the 80s to start our second week of summer. And then by the weekend, rain chances are still there, but we're back in our pattern of afternoon thunderstorms.